Hello everyone, I am Minakshi Chauhan and in this video I will be discussing about microprogrammed control unit. In this video I will be discussing about control unit, types of control unit, basic terminologies used in microprogrammed control unit, control memory organization. So let's get started. What is a control unit? Control unit is a part of processor and it is a group of circuits that provides timings and signals to all operations in computer and controls the data flow. So control unit provides timing and control signals to the all components in a computer. Control unit generates control signals. Control signals provide control inputs for multiplexers in common bus, control inputs in processor registers, and micro operations for accumulator. Here, block diagram of control unit. So, as you can see in this figure, that the uh, block diagram of control unit is given. It has some inputs and some outputs. Inputs are Cloak, instruction register, flag, control signals from control bus. Outputs are control signals within the processor and control signals to the control bus. Control unit provides the output as control signals which will be used in within the processor or control signals transferred over the control bus. Basically, it provides three types of control signals. Control signals that activate ALU function, control signals that activate a data path, or control signals for external system bus or external interface. The inputs to a control unit are clock, instruction register, flags and control signals from the control bus. Clock basically provides the timing. Control unit causes one of micro operation or a set of micro operations to be performed for each clock pulse. This clock timing is also called processor cycle time or clock cycle time. Control unit causes some micro operations can be performed in a clock cycle. Instruction register holds the instruction which is going to be executed. By the processor. Instruction has some part such as upcode, addressing modes, of address of operands. So upcodes and addressing mode of the current instructions are used to determine which micro operations to perform during the execute cycle. So this information will be fed into control unit and this information will be used by control unit to determine the meaning of instruction or to determine the what actions will be performed by the instruction. Flags. Flag, these are the conditions flag and or we can say status flags. In previous lectures, we have studied about some flags or conditions such as sign flag, carry flag, zero flag uh, or overflow flag, interrupt flag, etc. So these flag or uh, these conditions are used by the control unit to determine the status of processor and the outcome of previous ALU operations. For example, here increment and skip if zero instruction, the control unit will increment the program counter if zero flag is set. So the status of zero flag will be used in this instruction. Control signals from control bus. So some control inputs will be given to the control unit by the control bus. As you have studied, there are three types of bus, data bus, control bus and address bus. So some signals from the control bus will be given to the control unit as input. Control unit provides output in terms of control signals and these control signals can be used within the processor or these control signals can be for memory or input output 
and these control signals will be uh, provided to the memory or input output module with the help of control bus so types of control unit we have two types of control unit in this lecture one is hardwired control unit and micro programmed control unit main objective of this lecture is to study about the micro programmed control unit in this lecture we will study some terminologies used in micro programmed control unit and some working of micro program control unit hardwired control unit hardwired control unit is based on the hardware components in hardwired organization the control unit is implemented with the gates flip flops decoder and other digital circuit control unit which uses the hardware components such as gates flip flops decoders and other digital circuits is called hardwired control unit when the control unit will be designed by the hardware components then the control signals will be generated by the hardware and these control signals will be generated by some conventional logic design techniques and this control unit will be called as hardwired control unit so this hardwired control unit uses a fixed logic to interpret an instruction and generate appropriate signal the main objective of a control unit is to interpret the instruction and according to that interpretation to generate some appropriate control signal so that in that instruction can be executed when the control unit will be made with the help of hardware components then the both the work interpretation of the instruction and then generation of the appropriate control signal will be done by hardware components and it will have some fixed logic micro programmed control unit hardwired control unit is based on the hardware concept it is made of the hardware component but in case of micro programmed control unit this control unit is based on the micro programming concept or we can say programming approach as we have studied in c language java language c++ or python language we use the concept of programming then the same concept will be used by this micro programmed control unit so micro programmed control unit in which the logic of control unit is specified by a micro program so it will use the micro programming concept and each micro program consist of a sequence of instructions in a micro programming language and these are very simple instruction that specify micro operations a micro programmed control unit is a relatively simple logic circuit that is capable of sequencing the micro instruction and generating control signal to execute each micro instruction we will discuss further that how a micro programmed control unit works so in this uh, we study that the micro program control unit uses the concept of programming so it has some micro program written in micro programming language and each micro program contains a sequence of instructions and these instructions are called micro instructions and this micro program control unit must be able to sequence through the micro instructions and generate the control signals to execute each micro instruction some terminology is used in micro program control unit control variable control word or micro instructions micro operations control memory micro program or micro code here you can easily map the concept of programming to micro programming so what is control variable control variable is a binary variable binary variable means it can have one or zero control variable always defines a control signal or we can say c i control signal i control signal i represents two 
ith control signal it can have zero value or it can have one value because it is a binary variable when it is in one binary state the corresponding micro operation is executed suppose ci is having one then the micro operation will execute then whenever the ci will have one the micro operation will execute it or if it is having zero the micro operation will not be executed so active state of a control variable may be state 1 or state 0 it will depend on the application whether the micro operation is uh, will be executed on having 1 or having 0 so it will depend on the application during any given time certain micro operation are to be initiated while other remain idle now what is control word control variables can be represented by a string of ones and zeros called a control word when the combination of various control signals suppose c0 c1 c2 and c3 suppose four control signals we will have some binary string for representing combination of these four signals then this combination or string of zeros and ones will be termed as control word so control variable uh, variables are represented by a string of zeros and ones called a control word and such control words can be programmed to perform various operation on the components of a system so what is micro operation here you can see that the program execution is divided into multiple instruction cycle a program will have multiple instruction and one instruction cycle will be used to execute the instruction and each instruction cycle will be divided into as a fetching of the instruction indirect cycle decode cycle execute cycle interrupt cycle etc and each cycle or sub cycle will be divided into some micro operations the execution of an instruction involves the execution of a sequence of subset and these subsets are called cycles for example an execution may consist of fetch cycle decode execute interrupt indirect cycle etc each cycle in turn made of sequence of more fundamental operation and these fundamental operations are called micro operations single micro operation generally involves a transfer between registers or transfer between register and an external bus or a simple alu operation so what is micro instruction so each word in the control memory contains a micro instruction or we can say a control word is a micro instruction a micro instruction specifies one or more micro operations for the system micro operations are the fundamental operations suppose the transfer between register alu operations transfer between register and external bus and these operations are termed as micro operation micro instruction may specify one or more micro operations micro program a sequence of micro instruction or a group of micro instructions constitutes a micro program so a group of micro instruction will be termed as micro program control memory control memory is a part of control unit and this memory will hold the micro program instructions or we can say the control memory is to store the micro program or set of micro instructions micro code a logically coherent portion of the micro program is called the micro code logically interlinked portion of the pro micro program will be termed as micro code now we will look at the working of micro program control unit so this is the organization of micro program the control unit so main component of the micro program control unit is control memory and control memory is assumed to be a rom within which all control information is permanently stored here control memory will hold the micro program or we can say a group of micro 
instructions. Control address register will specify the address of the micro instruction and the control data register hold the micro instruction read from the memory. Control memory will have the micro program. Micro program is a set of micro instructions. When the micro program control unit works, the micro instructions are executed and which micro instruction is going to be executed next who will tell about it so control address register will specify the address of that micro instruction and that micro instruction will be stored in control data register but who will put the address of that micro instruction in control address register so the next address generator or sequencer will store the address of the micro instruction in control address register. The address will be transferred to the control memory and from that specific address, the micro instruction will be stored in control data register. So control memory will store the micro program and micro program contains the set of micro instructions and a micro instruction contains a control word that specify one or more micro operations for the processor. Once these operations are executed, the control must determine the next address and this next address is determined by the next address generator and this next address generator determines the address sequence that is read from the memory and the control word from that address will be stored in control data register. This control word will be executed and then again the next information will be determined by the next address generator on the basis of external input. So what is the organization of control memory? Here the control memory is holding the micro program and micro program is a set of routines. The routine is a set of micro instruction. So this shows the control word or micro instruction are arranged in the control memory. As you can see here, the fast cycle routine, indirect cycle routine, interrupt cycle routine, and routine, add routine, everything which is done in a processor. Instruction can be executed in, uh, by the processor. Uh, some arithmetic and logic operations are performed by the processor. So for everything in a processor which can be done in a processor, the micro routine will be defined in the control memory. The micro instruction in each routine are to be executed sequentially and each routine ends with the branch and jump instruction locating where to go next. As you can see, after completing indirect cycle routine, jump to execute. So this is the control memory organization, which is showing that the control memory contains the routine for each cycle, sub cycle, which can be performed in a processor. So it has the routines or a set of control words or set of micro instruction for each activity performed in processor. In this lecture, we studied about what is a control unit, what are the different types of control unit, what is a hardwired control unit, what is a microprogrammed control unit, how microprogrammed control unit works, what are the terminologies used in microprogrammed control unit and what is the organization of control memory. Content of this presentation has been taken by two books. One is uh, Computer Organization and Architecture written by William Stalling sir, and the Computer System Architecture written by Sir Morris Mann. See you in the next lecture of Microprogrammed Control Unit. Till then, happy learning. Thank you very much.